a company with a great name, but a former employee is allegedly cutting bad deals. Joining us this morning is Glenn Lloyd from Consumer Protection. Glenn, good morning to you. Good to be with you. You know, this is actually one thing that I would fall for. So I think this is a very important topic that you bring to the table this morning because I would have actually done this if I was in this position. Well, uh, let's set it up. Uh, a man worked for a Clintonville company that installs windows and doors. He left the company but virtually took the company's name. Uh, he's calling himself Advanced Home Tech mm -hmm. and Custom Creation. It's almost the same name as the company he left. And he advertises on television uh, saying you can get some free windows and doors, you know, in a contest. Gets people in there and tries to sell them windows and doors. And he, he says, L let's just see if we can get financing for you. Let's see if you're eligible. We won't get you that financing right now until you say so, but let's see if you're eligible. People give him that private information, and he went ahead and got the financing without their permission and charged them. So you're talking about credit checks. He said, you know, why don't we just do run a credit check for you? Yeah, 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 basically. He also took people's information and applied for credit cards for them mm -hmm. and then charged those credit cards. So he, he, he basically he took the name of someone else's company. He got financing for people who didn't ask for it. He got them credit cards that they didn't ask for. At one point, he tried to get uh, somebody's employer uh, to deduct money for him. Oh to, my gosh, uh, this guy debit. was you know, very, very brazen in his illegal activities. Yeah, and he's been charged with identity theft. He, he, he's That's it? Uh, with, with identity theft, yes, and, uh, and false representation. But he operated all around the state, so we may have people here that that happened to. We want people to know that that's illegal, and they should be contacting us uh, in, in, as a result of this prosecution. Okay, are you going to name him? Oh, yes. His name is Timothy Mueller, Timothy, Timothy Mueller of La Crosse. Uh, if this has happened, uh, please contact us and know that any time you give your private information, people can steal it and, and use it against you. So very quickly right now, a way people can protect themselves from people like Timothy Mueller is to go on the Better, Better Business Bureau, these websites to check if he is legit. I mean, how, how would I protect myself? How would well, I know? If you, have no, uh, if you have no intention of buying a product, even though a, a salesman is trying to force you mm -hmm. into seeing if you're eligible for financing, don't give that information. Good point, too. They can't force it out of you. Th that's right. Don't, don't give that information because it can be used by someone that's irresponsible. All right, Glenn Lloyd, thank you so much. We always appreciate your time. If you'd like to contact Consumer Protection, go to our web channel, NBC15.com, and click on News Links. All right, guys, take it away.